Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnor Man at YouTube with another model video. Today we're going to be airbrushing, reviewing and testing out the Mr. Clear Color GX101 clear black in lacquer. This video can work just like any other clear black products from acrylic enamel or lacquers of other brands or clear smoke which happens to be a bit more grey like. A transparent shade medium normally associated with filtering or creating candy effects over metallics my preference with this product is to use it in a far versatile and broad range of effects in shadowing, darkening tones and even up to weathering. Traditionally when named clear smoke it was used to build up dirt and soot around vents, engine covers and smokestacks. This product can only really be airbrushable the GX is a high viscosity and needs to be cut one to one if not further with lacquer thinner. You can get pre-thinned versions from Alclad and other brands. Reaching for a straight to a spoon test, both primed, unprimed and coloured, we can see that its transparent nature sits on top of various shades and really it comes through. Multiple layers goes for a near jet black, pulling back and dusting only darken tones the effect. It's not really that appealing or nice on a large flat surface. The handling and thinning is a bit different to standard pigmented paint. It has more of a tendency to pull or splutter if too much or not enough thinner is applied. It will not orange coat however. With the metallic test, unfortunately the paint just slid straight off the spoons ruining it. Reaching for a detailed injection molded styrene Gundam model kit, I coated it with a lacquer chrome, nice and glossy, allowed it several hours to dry and harden sufficiently and applied a few layers in one session of the clear black to darken the tone and replicate a candy effect. The effect is very intense, it's a deep sheen and it just looks like this amazingly very high gloss pure black. Setting to a ratio of 1.5 to 2 part thinner to 1 part paint at a low PSI under 15 to around 11 I very gently with a finer nozzle, 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters, decided to shadow and shade, give definition to a very basic no name, no grade Gundam kit. And this was playfully done by tilting the leg around in multiple directions, studying where light will fall down across the armor of the mech and darkening under the arm, the elbows, at the bottom of armor ridges, ridges underneath the kneecap, at the bottom of the feet, and then just thoroughly caking the back of the leg to see how that just uh, pulls and becomes too heavy and too much of a ruined effect. By pinpointing and coloring in small sections that become quite dark where light disappears from, pulling back and shading further down the colored segmented pieces of the armor, you're able to give a very delicate and interesting effect that also lends itself when you do panel line scribing or penmanship work in details of panels and dry brushing of the ends of armor. This thought process is not limited to science fiction, gritty, weathered models or just Gundams. It can be applied to any subject, clean, dirty, filthy or absolutely destroyed. Here is an example of a more traditional application to a 72nd half track German armor kit. At the bottom I'm practically shading the whole panel to be darker as you can't see light under there under the natural sunlight and that would be the same as just outright changing the shade of a complete clear piece. If you were to paint a kit, tank, Gundam, whatever, 
just an outright flat paint gives it a toy-like appearance. When we apply weathering and definition detail effects to it, this is where it's becoming more into the realm of uh, reality and looking like a slice of life or a real object. And as light naturally casts across surfaces, we can be playful where there's under rails, guards, underneath the platoon uh, bridges or the wells where the wheels sit, we can quite heavily darken or make it even near black. The creativity you can go with this product has no bounds and I honestly do just enjoy to play with it. Don't be too stressed or worried, spray around some junk pieces and see how it brings it to life. The flexibility simply does not stop there. With the aid of masking, stenciling and more unorthodox effects, even putting cotton wool and strange substances on plastic, you can create stenciled effects. Clear black is a medium I'm absolutely in love with and to be totally honest, you do not have to go far in finding it in any brand or size. I only stick to GX at the moment as you get a larger quantity for the same price as 10 milliliters. I also hope that this video also gives you a bit of a different point of view and look at clear candy colors in general in how you can apply and change tones to existing or existed painted kits and surfaces, especially clear brown, which is a second favorite of mine in more of a sand or weathering it tone. I do hope in the future that more drab colored filtering paints do come out that I can use in conjunction with washes and filtering mediums, which is the same equivalent but for hand painting. You can do the same effect with filters by painting those panels in a darkened shade color. Going forward and revisiting a lot of my previous current and future works, you'll see that I've almost used this medium in different capacities among all of my different works. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time, stay tuned for further content. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I've been putting off making it for a very long time as it's a very important subject matter and a very important medium to me. I wanted it to be filmed and presented just right to inspire others to use it. Unfortunately, it's been put off for far too many years. Hope you try this at home and apply these thoughts and products in your work or change your mind a bit about the process of colouring and building up the definition and detail of a model. Have a look at the description section down below for further links and other platforms I post work and give regular updates. Stay tuned for more content, airbrushing and builds and we'll catch you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching.